everybody. Welcome back to Chippa in the Third Person. Um, today's Tuesday, the 4th of June, 2019. I hope everybody's doing well this morning. Um, if you're listening to this, just a few things um, before I get going. Uh, an internet buddy of mine, Matt Crowley, who does um, uh, the house that Jack built and so much for Pathos on YouTube. Uh, his laptop is shit the bed. Um, all gone. Can't turn it on anymore. Um, that's his only means of creating content. And his content is damn good. Um, the stuff I do is very off the cuff. Um, you know, it bounces around in my brain, but I don't do a lot of, a lot of research, writing down, pre-work. Um, that's all his thing is about. And for someone that puts that much time into their art, into their content... I think they deserve to be able to continue making that content. He started a GoFundMe to get himself a new laptop and get himself back up and running. He's about halfway to his goal. If you could find Matt J. Crowley on Twitter or on GoFundMe or just go to um, Patreon.com and find, I think it's under the house that Jack built or it could be under Matt Crowley or go find the house that Jack built or so much for pathos on YouTube. Um, find a way to get to his... Uh, go fund me, get him back up and running. As I've said before, this isn't a competition. We're only as good as each other. So uh, as much as I can help myself, I'd like to help others as well. With that in mind, you can also go to patreon.com slash the chip and drop me a dollar. Drop me a dollar. I've upped my um, release schedule, um, at least for the short term. So every other week, I'm going to have two episodes instead of one to give you a total of six episodes in a monthly period. Um, I can't commit to eight yet, but I can definitely commit to six. Um, I have, it could be every other week. It could be every two weeks. But either way, every month you're going to get at least six episodes. That means it's even less than a quarter an episode. So please get over there and give me a dollar. And what's in it for you? There's tiers. Check out the tiers. Check out what you get. You get early access to videos. Um, if you get to the $5 tier, you get to choose a Creating Geeks topic. You also get a chance to tell me to donate to somebody else. You give me 5 bucks, I give somebody a dollar. Um, you're giving me 5 a month, I'm giving them a dollar a month, and I promote them on the show. I call it Chippa Pays It Forward. Then, on the third tier, which is the $15 tier, you get mentioned in every episode. Um, I say your name, it's pretty kick-ass, and you're doing a big service to help me out. Also... In the early, early, early stages of development, I've been thinking about this for about six months. Um, I finally got venues to start responding to me about it, but just a little bit of a teaser. I'm going to do a live recording of the Talkbuster podcast with not just me, not just me and one other guest, but me and as many of the people that I used to work with at Blockbuster Video in the Salem Mass location as I can get to show their faces in public. So, what does that mean for you? I've got an evening planned. Um, it's not just going to be us sitting down for 45 minutes and talking. Um, haven't figured the whole thing out, but there's going to be some cool crap going on. There'll be a Q&A involved and most likely a live playing of right, quote, wrong movie. So if you're at all in the North Shore area or ever able to get to Salem, Massachusetts, coming soon, hopefully late summer, early fall, will be a live recording of the Talk Buster podcast. Um, why am I not promoting this on the podcast themselves? Because I don't want to set anything in stone in this YouTube channel is an easy way to just get it off my chest that I'm in the planning stages. I've got a sound guy lined up, so we'll be recording it and releasing it as a podcast later on. The idea is, hey, we all worked in the Salem, Massachusetts store. I'm going to run a live show where people can actually see, meet, and hear, talk, and tell stories about their city, their blockbuster, the place that they used to rent from, and also get a chance to ask them the questions that you really just couldn't ask in the store when it was a corporate entity. This will be no holds barred. We'll answer anything. So that's the idea. More on that to come. So, in the grand scheme of other things, I finally watched John Wick 2. I bought John Wick and John Wick 2 sight unseen um, on Black Friday. They had them for sale for cheap. I had heard that they were pretty good. I know different people's mileage varies. I know the old-fashioned um, machismo action flick um, kind of just doesn't do it for a lot of people anymore. But I gotta say, um, they built quite a cool little world in the first movie, and the second movie is a lot more, I'm not gonna call it subdued, but it's a lot more 
paced out and um, it delivers a lot more in the underbelly of what's going on here and I, I really dug the crap out of it. Um, thinking about doing something either myself or with somebody else on their show, um, haven't decided quite how to do it yet um, after I see the third one, but I'm psyched I saw number two and I hear number three from some people might be the best of the three, so if, if it's better than the first one and second one, I can't wait to freaking see it. Um, Keanu Reeves is an action force to be reckoned with. Um, his physical ability in especially this movie has these wonderful gunfight sequences and I love this about both films that they lean heavy on it here where guns just aren't for shooting. They can be a defensive weapon. They can be a shit amount of bullets. I'm just going to chuck it at somebody to daze them and you know get moved on. And he does a wonderful way of just it's not like well like calculated surgical even though he shoots with a surgical prowess it's like guns but guns used like a fist fight like he's got to claw his way out with these bullets and I, it's wonderfully staged wonderfully choreographed um, the cinematography is freaking excellent there's a uh, mirror sequence um, in an exhibit full of mirrors that rivals anything like it that I've seen um, it's just such a cool freaking movie. Seeing Lawrence Fishburne there and knowing that he's in number three um, is freaking awesome. I love Lawrence Fishburne. I love him and Keanu on screen together. I love the rumors that we're probably going to be getting another Matrix because, well, they're a big mess. I still really get a kick out of the Matrix Reloaded and the Matrix Revolutions. They're not great films, but I want to be in that world more. I want to see more of that. So if they're going to make more, sweet friggin' deal. Um, what else is going on, really? I don't really know. Um, like I said, I said my piece about Godzilla yesterday. I'm excited to see what else the summer holds. Um, I really want to check out Rocket Man. Um, I'm hearing great things. I love the idea of Taron Edgerton doing the singing. I love the idea that the director brought in to help finish Bohemian Rhapsody. Gets to do a movie all himself that seems to be, um, at least focused on a little bit more reality than uh, Bohemian Rhapsody was. It helps that, you know, Elton John is the sole person the story's about and he's still alive, whereas you got the rivaling, you know, band, uh, not rivaling, but, you know, trying to make it be more about Queen themselves than just Freddie Mercury, and that's part of the reason why Sasha Baron Cohen left the project and, and all of those other things, but that's, um, that's all very interesting. So what else do we have coming this summer? Um, I'm not sure. I really don't. I'm kind of drawing a blank. It's, it's a weird Tuesday. Um, so I guess I'll just leave you guys at that. Uh, again, check out Matt Crowley. Try to help him out getting a new laptop. Be sure to donate to my Patreon. Also, hey, when I get to 350 bucks, I got that cool Blockbuster sweatshirt signed by the folks at the Bend, Oregon store. And be sure to check out, um, Right now, there's a new episode of the Chipman Brothers Tangent out. Um, I've changed my release schedule from 11 p.m. to 8 p.m. And on, um, you know, so that means you're going to get it earlier, which is great. And also, for the Thursday, uh, for the Monday releases, you'll get them on Friday if you're a patron. And for the Thursday release and the weeks where I do two, you'll get it on Monday. So you're either going to be getting two things at a time, one thing at a time, who knows, it's going to be a complete cluster, but I'm psyched about it, and this Thursday coming up, which is available to you now if you were a patron, I interviewed a guy from Blockbuster IT, so he moved himself up, he got a, his first Blockbuster card in 1985 on opening day, he was, um, he was customer number 2027 at the very first Blockbuster to open in Dallas, and he worked through the company in the early 90s up through IT, and he is still working IT as an independent consultant. He was helping out all the franchises left in the country um, after the uh, corporate entity that was Blockbuster kind of disbanded in 2014, and he is still helping the Bend, Oregon store, Sandy and Ryan, and um, you know Ken and Debbie Tischer's store over there and everybody that works there he's helping with all their IT concerns if you remember from Sandy's episode they're still using the old 
um, software and the old computers. They kind of just corralled them as the corporate stores went down into centralized locations. And now Sandy's the only one left, and she's grabbed as much of them as she can and swaps them out. So they're still running on that same computer system that they were running on in the mid-2000s when I was still working there. So I could probably walk in and just start freaking working there if I wanted to, which folks out at Bend, Oregon, it's happening sometime. Mark my words, I'm coming. I'm going to work a shift for quarter podcast. It's going to be great. Just don't know when because children, money, hooray. So that's another reason to donate to my Patreon. Hey, maybe we'll do a contest sometime. Get Chris Chipman to Bend. We'll do something like that. I don't know. But anyway, until next time, this has been the Chippo. I'll see you guys on the other side. Bye.